Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're taking a, just a brief break from the other project that we've been working on. Um, I've had some parts on order for quite a while now uh, for this here. This is a Stoger M3000 and this stopped e, uh, extracting the three inch hulls and it still do th two and three quarter most of the time, but it stopped doing the three inch. My gun jammed again. Did it really? Jammed? Yeah. That's not good. What happened? Yeah, uh, last bullet. It didn't come out. Oh, it didn't. Uh, it said it was. That's what I was tapping at. Oh. You know, I was tapping right here. It was. It was folded in the gun. Oh, okay. I did polish the chamber in this thing. That is or can be a problem. It wasn't too bad, but I polished it anyways, and that didn't change a thing. So the other thing is to, uh, to to fix this is to swap over the extractor and the spring with a Benelli extractor and spring. And I'll show you a close-up of the two here in a few minutes. But uh, So we've got some Sporting Clays competitions coming up. And uh, this, is, this is my boys that he uses. So uh, we don't want to start missing a bunch of clays out there and having failure to ejects and failure to feed. So for those of you who don't know how to take a Stoger apart, it's pretty simple. Take that off. Everything just kind of pops up. The barrel separates here, comes right off of there. And then you can just take your fore end off. With the bolt here, you've got to take out, you got to take out your handle. This can be sometimes a little bit of a pain. Well, that one came out. It's been out quite a few times. So, And then the bolt spring and everything just comes out. And it comes right off here. It's on this rail. And all you do is just, this thing just sets on the rail. This just comes right off there. It's, it's a little bit tight sometimes, but it just pops right off. So, all right, let's spin the camera around, get down the bench, and uh, let's get this little extractor here swapped out. Okay, so this is the bolt here. Um, this is the bottom of the bolt. So we're going to be driving the pin, which is right here, down toward the bottom of the bolt. Um, if you look closely though, you cannot see the entire pin on this thing. You can only see a portion of it. And this pin will not drive through coming up toward the top. It, it's going to hit uh, the bolt face here on the inside and stop it. So uh, one thing you can do is, of course, you can take some tape and put a little tape on here just to help maybe catch that that extractor. And that, uh, at least it uh, shouldn't go flying. And then we're going to take our punch here. Now this particular punch is a 3.30 seconds and I'm just going to come in here and and just catch that edge and then drive it through. I'm going to swap over to a smaller punch. This is a roll a roll pin, but it's a uh, this one here is a 1/16th, so I'm hoping that uh, that will catch that just enough. I know it's hard for you guys to see this, but I got to come in at an angle. Should be able just to grab this with a little pair of pliers here and that should just pop right out of there. I don't want to take it all the way out. There we go. Just enough to uh, to pass through there. So there's our extractor and our spring. Now I'm going to get a real good close up here of these two factory Stogers compared to the uh, compared to the Benelli. So let's take a good look at those two. So if you look close here, you can see the Stoger and the Benelli. If you look real close though, you can see the difference in the spring. There's quite a difference there. So um, the Benelli is definitely, it's, you know, it's thicker, it's a little bit longer, it's more stout. So um, it's just a, overall, it's just a better product. 
Okay, so I've got the two new Benelli parts here now. This Benelli spring actually is it's longer by ten thousandths, or no, excuse me, it's it's wider by ten thousandths and longer by twenty thousandths. So it's a beefier spring. The Benelli uh, extractor hook is much sharper. Uh, you can feel that with your fingers. It's much sharper than the factory one. So I'm going to take some of this Otis here. This is a MC10. It's a lubricant. And I'm just going to put a little spritz down inside there and also on both of these pieces here. So they're well coated. This stuff is really good stuff. I've been using Otis for a long, long time. I really like it. So, okay. Now, the spring sets in right here. And then your extractor sets down, catches the spring on the back side. There's kind of a little, uh, little hook right there that's just going to catch that spring right there. And I'm just going to push this in with my thumb. And then I'm just going to slightly, just real easily, just tap this thing. And I can feel it right there. It's, it's, it's hooked. So I know I'm centered through that. And I'm just going to drive this thing back up in here. Make sure I get that seated. Oop, wrong one. Oops. Okay, we are seated. That is functioning good. That feels good. Probably put just a little bit more on this bolt here. Just to make sure it's well lubed, well protected. Good stuff. Okay, so we've got... Uh, Got our guide, oops, and our bolt. And there's like a little cutout here in the guide that just slides on there. This simply slides back down in here. And then we just take our, uh, take our bolt knob, put that back in there. Just like that. So um, I'll be taking this out, shooting it. Uh, I don't want to say it's fixed just yet. I'm 99% I'm sure it is, but uh, but I will take this out. I will put probably several hundred rounds through this thing and just make sure that that fixes the problem. Um, I have fixed some of these before with that exact fix, and it's it's worked. So. Pretty confident, but uh, just wanted to share with you how to do it. That that roll pin again only drives uh, out one way, out through the bottom, not out through the top. You got to get a you know pretty small little uh, roll pin driver there to to kind of hook that because it's not a straight through shot. So just little quirky things. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thought I'd share that with you. We'll see you uh, again here real soon with uh, finishing up our other project that uh, that we're still working on. So see you next time.